what, what I really like about this film is telling the story that hasn't been told before. It's a story of Palestinian refugee born in Egypt because of politics, doesn't have citizenship, fights most of his life to become citizen somewhere in the world and realizing that maybe we can have a better solution. When he has, in, in this point of his life, when he's in Canada and he's like now settled a bit, he thinks maybe there's a better solution. He starts questioning what happened, that, you know, it's the least, if you're a victim of something, the least thing you can do is to re-question what happened to you, right? And reflect on it. And that's the film. And the part that I really like about it is the part where I write Jesus a message. Because Muslims and Christians believe that Jesus is coming back. If he's coming back, then I will write him a message so they can read it and I can ask him questions like, how are you going to travel between the US and between Egypt and between Palestine or Israel? Or how are you going to travel without visas? How are you going to travel without an ID? You know, do you know there's something called an ID that your followers actually created? And uh, this ID, you have to have it so that you can go from one point to another. I'm not that, with all respect. This is one, I'd love to take this message and, po and ask people in mosques and synagogues and, and churches to, to post it there. This is a message to Jesus. How come your followers are putting, they, they say that they want to follow your message, but this, in reality they are not. Maybe as well a message to, to, the, to Muhammad, the prophet. And maybe a message to David. Um, that's one part I love. I love the part when I ask people what they want to see in a new country. You know, and people just coming up with this idea. It's called the collective intelligence. I love this this one uh, so much too. I love the I, and people love the idea of a new country. Oh my God, new country! Can I come in? What do we, What do you need? How's it gonna be? It's just it's the excitement of fresh things. You know, imagine if you have a blank canvas. Imagine that you have a story and you are the author of the story and you can just write whatever you want. This is the excitement. This was this is why was the U.S. was so exciting before because. People could have to could create whatever they want. People can fulfill their dreams, you know, come here with an idea and a dream. I have a dream. And they can make it happen. So that's what I also like. Um, I like, so yeah, I mentioned the new nations. I like the ideas of, you know, how, I like empowering people so much. Uh, I like to offer tools. I like to question our humanity. I really like to question our humanity, you know, in terms of, how come we can let people die, you know? Not just because of Syrian refugees, which is awful, but also, like my mom. My mom was suffering from liver cancer, and she could have got better treatment. If we just know that we're gonna send her to the best place in, on earth, let's say in Germany, and that's it, we're gonna trust what, what the doctor says, and that's it, we're gonna live with what they say, then that's it, but we couldn't get this. So we started taking her to Turkey, and she didn't go with her like family, because they didn't give her, they refused to give the visa to my sister and my father. So how come, how come of this, like adding another dimension of suffering to people dying? And so, yeah, this is one element I would kind of want to explore, but also explore, I want to explore hope. I want to explore hope. I want to, I want to have a movie that if I die today after, f or if I die, okay, it's not right. You're awesome. Thank you so much for doing this. And thank you. I want to have a movie so that if I die after making it, I will be satisfied that my message on earth is over. And I will be happy and content and not worrying about anything because I did the best I could. I offered people a chance to talk about their new country and I offered solutions and I offered them the most important thing which is digging deep in their humanity and understanding about their humanity, about how human beings are more important than those labels of Palestinian, Israeli, Egyptian, American, Canadian. Human beings are more important. Okay, and it's the same for me. This is if you solve the problem of humanity on this level, you solve all the problems. Racism, sex